Alright, what's up everybody? Now for this video I'm doing, you know, a ranking video. Just probably gonna be my last one of the Friday the 13th films that I did them before. But hopefully my feelings change the different certain movies of the franchise. And um even it's crazy, even though I'm not the huge biggest fan of Friday the 13th. I mean I love a lot of their movies. Yeah, I love a lot of but I'm not the biggest fan of even the worst film I do pretty much could put it in and enjoy it. So yeah, um my least favorite in the franchise would have to be Jason Goes to Hell. Now, you know the case looks freaking awesome. You know the fire on it looks like it'll be a killer good movie. I mean it's a fun movie. It's one of them guilty pleasures. D V D looks like by the way. Um it's one of them, you know guilty pleasures. Um, but, um, it just ain't that great, you know, I still put it in and watch it, um, yeah, so, it, it ain't that bad, but, is this my least favorite out of the whole franchise? Now, next we have, coming in at, and this one, I think I've included, never like alone in, um, one of them, one of my rankings, but I'm not going to include never I come in this one though. Coming at my number 11 is Freddy vs. Jason. You know, I have that movie, but it's in that, you know, my Freddy Krueger um, collection. <laughs> never went on street collection, so um, Freddy vs. Jason. I enjoy it, you know. Um, it ain't that great, but it's still a fun movie. I still would enjoy it, um, for what it was, and it's just a good movie, you know? It ain't great or nothing. It ain't nothing that special. Coming in at number, what was it? Number 10 would have to be Jason... X. Number 10. Now, this is sort of my another guilty pleasure of the, um, in the Jason film. This TV looks like right there. They put Jason in space in this film. I mean, it's one of the guilty pleasures. I'll put it in and watch it. And, um, yeah, I enjoy it. But, I just don't think it's the greatest one in the franchise. I'm coming in at. My number nine. My number nine is Friday the Thirteenth Part Eight. Jason takes Manhattan. And here's what the DVD looks like, by the way. Jason takes Man Part Eight. Jason takes Manhattan. Now, I mean, yeah, this has really great kills. And, um, I enjoy it. I think it's a fun Friday the 13th film. I know most of it takes place on a boat on the way to Manhattan, but I still find an enjoyment to it. Coming in next would be Friday the 13th, Part 5, A New Beginning. Now, this film, I thought, was, you know, pretty fun. Um... Yeah, I thought it was pretty fun. I didn't think it was the best one, but I thought it was pretty fun, you know. It's it's more of a whodunit, you know. Somebody's like somebody's copycat killer, because I think they went crazy over Jason, so this person tried to kill people just like Jason did. Wore Jason's mask and stuff. Coming in next would be Friday the 13th. But now, from here on out, these films I consider we watching over and over again. Coming next will be Friday the 13th, Part 6, Jason Liz. It had a great opening scene, you know, when Jason resurrected, went back to life. It's crazy. One of the best resurrection scenes you can ever see in a slasher film. And, um, yeah, Friday the 13th, Part 6, great film. Coming in next 
would be Friday the 13th Part 3. Um, you know, basically, the rest of them looks like the same kind of DVDs in a way. Part 3. Um, you know, and plus this came, and it's plus it's 3D, so it came with, you know, these 3D glasses right here. Um, and you know, part three, I do enjoy it, and, um, it has some pretty brutal kills in it, and it's a really well done sequel. Um. Coming in next would be the original Friday the 13th. The original. Now, um, you know, um, I like the, um, how they, um, you know, I liked how it was different. Well, it wasn't too different. It felt like a ripoff of Halloween in a way, but. Um, first the thing, the original, um, I liked how at the, towards the end you found out who the killer was, and that was Jason's mom. She was trying to revenge her son from drown, because the counselor is that her son Jason drowned in the lake. And you know what happened after she got her head cut off, right? Jason came back. And that's why you got the sequel. Now coming in next would be... Friday the 13th, part 2. Now, um, yeah, Sackhead Jason's okay to me. Um, I like Sackhead Jason. Um, but, you know, the kills are pretty cool in this film. Um, I enjoy it. Now, coming up with number 5. Let me see. Would have to be no coming in at my number four. I'm pretty sure it's number four. No, I don't know what I'm talking about. Coming in at my number three. I'm pretty sure coming out at my number three. So about the y'all coming at my number three is Friday the Thirteenth Part Seven, The New Blood. This film is one of the first Friday the Thirteenth films I've seen. And I enjoy this film. This film has some great kills. Um, it's entertaining as hell. Um, it had a great third act in the film. I enjoy it a lot. Um, so, yeah. Now, it was hard for me to choose between the final chapter. I said that from my other ranking video before, but... You know, between the final chapter and the remake, you know, um, but evidently coming up with number two, would have to be the remake. The remake. Now, Jason was a beast in this movie. Um, kind of, sort of like when Michael Myers was a beast in the newest Halloween film. But this film right here is what the DVD looks like, by the way. Uncut. Wait. Killer Cut, my bad. Killer Cut Addiction. I mean, not Addiction. Addition. Um, I enjoy the remake a lot. But a lot of the characters was what threw this movie off by a little bit. Like, But I, I do enjoy like the kills are freaking amazing. The kills are amazing in the film. Jason was a beast. And it had a cool third act. And this movie had a lot of, you know, naked stuff in a lot. It was crazy, a lot. Probably, this probably has the most out of all the Jason movies. But they ain't the reason this is my number two. Don't think that. I always concentrate on good story and characters and stuff. But what made this movie go up high on the list? As the kills. The person that played Jason was a beast. And, um, you know, there's only, like, one character out of all of them that was actually a pretty cool character. That was a character that was looking for his sister, because his sister was missing. Guess what, he ends up finding her in this film. So this film had a decent story in the film. And this remake had 
the people that made the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I think the people that made the remake of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. But I wasn't a huge fan of Texas Chainsaw Massacre though. But um, I'm, I like Jason way more than Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So I enjoy the hell out of Friday the 13th the remake. Coming out my number one. This is probably no surprise to anybody. Um, all the characters are good. Everything is good. This movie's perfect. It had one of the best opening scenes in horror history. And that is Friday the 13th, the final chapter. It's crazy how they put the final chapter number four. They probably thought number four was going to be the final one, but then they made all the way up to 12. Um, yeah, but Friday the 13th, the final chapter. Um, this film, the characters, will make you smile. The, um, it was just so good. It's, it's one of my favorite horror films, even though I'm not the biggest fan of, you know, Jason Voorhees, but... Um, yeah, like, Friday the 13th, the final chapter is amazing, like, the characters are great, the kills are brutal as hell in this movie, and the person that played Jason was pretty creepy, and, um, and the characters are great, everything about this movie is great, so, like, you know, the characters are entertaining, while they're not getting slaughtered, and you know, like, while the killing ain't happening, you're still entertained. That's one of the th big things why this movie went up to my number one. Because I like to be entertained even if the killings ain't happening. And this film had probably the best story in the, all the Friday the 13th films combined. Friday the 13th, the final chapter, it's going to stay number one probably. This film is just amazing. And, um, if you're a Jason fan or something, you'll probably enjoy Friday the 13th, the final chapter. It's so good, so well done, and it's just a good film. Um, so yeah, um, I enjoy, like, 80% of the films, you know, I enjoy, the ones I really do enjoy is probably part one, part two, part three, part four. Part 7. It's probably the best one to me. Because part 4 is the final chapter of course. But. Uh, and then I also like number 7. So those are the ones that I consider. And then I also like the remake. So those are the ones I consider really good ones. So. Um, the rest of them I was like. Uh, part 8. Was okay. I didn't hate as much as a lot of people do. Um, But yeah. I guess that's it for this ranking video. If you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button, please subscribe and share, and also hit the bell so you know when new videos are uploaded. Peace out. That's this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace.